You know what's gonna be sick is when we have the pipe operator and can pipe a chain. You know what I mean? Like we can pipe yeah, yeah. from action to action. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know the action pattern that we now use extensively on um, um, on Laravel Cloud. And I wanted to bring you something that you probably don't remember, but on Laravel Podcast Season Three, I was a heavily you know, listener of that podcast. You were there with Jeffrey Way and Matt Stauffer, and you were actually pitching already the, the action pattern, but you had a different name for it. You call it the self-handling command bus <laughs> uh, yeah. pattern, okay? And, uh, you know, which is exactly the same thing as actions today. Uh, people are going crazy with the, with the actions pattern, but it's literally the same thing as back mm -hmm. in the days in 2015. But yeah, I wanted to ask you, like, what is your opinion on, on the actions pattern? Like, uh, when you see it in action on Laravel Cloud, but what is your opinion in general about this pattern? Yeah, I think it's a pretty... It's a pretty good pattern that I think fits well within web development because web development is very request and command based. Like the whole HTTP spec, like you send post or put or delete command or you know request, which are basically like commands to do a very specific thing. And so I think the action pattern fits very nicely like into that mold. I think that action pattern, like if I was building a new Laravel application today, I would probably put, still put quite a bit of stuff just in the controllers and mainly use the action pattern for more complex scenarios that maybe need to do multiple different things. Like, um, I need to create the database and send a notification and do all this other stuff. If it starts to get pretty complex, I would extract it into an action mm. versus like, I'm pretty sure on cloud we do actions pretty much for everything, you know, regardless yeah. if it's like very complicated or not. Mm -hmm. um, the action pattern, I think also be, can come in handy when you start building like an API, right? So now yeah. I need to create a database from the web controller and from like this API controller and those might be a little bit different, but I can reuse the same logic. I mean, mm -hmm. I think in the, I think in the, like the classic Martin Fowler, software patterns book it's really called the command pattern as far as i know yeah. uh, mm -hmm. but it, i i kind of like the name actions mm -hmm. um we actually had better. um yeah we actually had uh, an episode here on my stream with mary and she told me that literally um the action pattern is in fact the the, um, the one you just mentioned uh, yeah. um the, the command you said yeah yeah command the, pattern the command pattern exactly um indeed man when we first start conceptualizing a little bit of laravel cloud uh joe dixon told me dude there is a, li a high likelihood that we are going to end up with an api so yeah. whatever logic you have, just abstract that to a class where you can reuse between controllers, either those controllers be a web controller or an API controller. But also, like, th there is so many occasions where we just chain actions. Like when you create an application, for example, uh, we create an environment, we create your default whatever, and we just chain the actions. And this is just something I'm super in love with at the moment. Um, you know what's going to be sick is when we have the pipe operator and can pipe a chain you know what i mean like we can pipe yeah, yeah. from action to action that'd be pretty sick yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i haven't actually tried it out so i made a video about that like just literally uh walk through the pipe operator but i haven't yet you know dive into yeah. what um you know uh, how does it feel actually using it locally 